Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain how to properly rename a domain controller in just four easy steps. And before we do that, let's explain how you normally rename a computer and why you don't want to do that with a domain controller. So here we have a domain controller that's cleverly called FS1, as opposed to say DC1 or domain controller or whatever else. And the normal way you would rename this is to simply go into Advanced System Properties and go to Computer Name and go to Change. Windows comes up and says, hey, that's probably just a really bad idea. Now, a couple of things. One, if you have multiple domain controllers and you rename it this way, it's probably survivable. In that after you have bunged it up by renaming it this way, when there are problems, and there probably will be, you'll probably have to demote the domain controller and then re-promote it, but life will probably be okay. If this is your last or only domain controller, however, that's not funny. You might have pooched your entire domain. So don't do it this way. And the reason is doing it this way will screw up things like sites and services and DNS, uh, of course, possibly DHCP. So don't do it this way. And fortunately, you don't have to. In four easy steps, you can get through this. So how do you properly rename a domain controller? Easy, add a second name, set it to be the primary name, reboot, and remove the old name. That's it. Not hard. Let's do it. All of the commands we're about to use are easy, but if you want to just copy paste them, they're going to be in the description below. So the first thing we need to do is bring up a command prompt. And uh, it can be done with a command prompt, a regular command prompt, but I'm going to use the PowerShell because that's what this version of the operating system has handy. And the first command is netdom computer name and then the fully qualified name of the computer in question, the domain controller in question, and then add, slash add, colon, and whatever the new name will be. So in this case, I want to change FS1 to DC3. I need to add a space. Bingo. Now let's just verify that that addition took place. So with the command is simply netdom computer name, the fully qualified domain name space slash enumerate. And you can see this machine is now called FS1 and it's also called DC3. On to step two, which is to make the new name the primary name. Simple command again, netdom computer name, the current name that is primary and slash make primary colon the new name. Let's paste that in. Bingo! Successfully made dc3.test2.local the primary. This computer must be rebooted. Hmm, I wonder what we should do next, boys and girls. That's correct, we should reboot. Now the last thing to do is to remove the old host name. So let's do that. Bring up a command prompt. In our case, I'll use a PowerShell and paste it in. So it's netdom computer name, the new computer name, and remove the old computer name. So let's do that. There we go, successfully done. You don't have to reboot at this point, but I'm going to. Always a good idea after these major uh, things to reboot, just to force everything to sync. Absolutely not required though. And let's look at users and computers and sites and services. And in users and computers, we see DC2 and DC3, yay. In sites and services, we see that DC3, the new DC is replicating with DC2, but DC2 is not intentionally replicating the other way around. Now, the knowledge consistency checker, the KCC should take care of this in a short while, but if it doesn't, you simply right click and select replication uh, sorry, replicate <laughs> configuration from selected DC, and it'll build it for you. It's pretty straightforward. Your settings are right here if you are looking for something to compare it to. Our next video will be how to properly remove a dead domain controller from your Active Directory. And it's more than just going into users and computers and dumping it. So hey, if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, Get a hold of us directly at www.urteth.ca, that's www.urtech.ca, or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.